Lando Norris did the right thing by passing on Red Bull Racing. Lando Norris reportedly and smartly turned down Red Bull Racing's offer to buy him out of his McLaren contract so that he could join Red Bull Racing in 2024 alongside Max Verstappen. Joe Saward wrote in his green notebook this week that it was Lando's decision to not allow that to happen, to stay with McLaren. And if he's reporting and it's something that he's heard, we're just going to go ahead and assume that, you know, there's some at least validity to that because he typically does have the pulse of things happening in the paddock and around the garage area. So Lando Norris turns down Red Bull Racing, and that's the smartest thing he could absolutely do. I know there's a bunch of fans that are going to be watching, and Dry to Survive fans in particular, that are going to be like, why would he not leave McLaren to go over to Red Bull where he could win championships and races? And the latter part of that is true. He can go over there and win races. But the former part of that, winning a championship, will absolutely never happen as long as Max Verstappen is within that team because Christian Horner is never going to let someone beat his son in Max Verstappen stopping. That's Max's team. Lando can go over there and win a bunch of races, but as long as he's the second driver in that team, as long as Max is there, he's not winning a championship. Just ask Danny Ricardo, Pierre Gasly, Alex Albon, or Sergio Perez. They all have been second drivers over there, and none of them have come close to winning a championship. One, because that team's built around Max. That car is built around Max, and everything that team decides to do strategy-wise, performance-wise, is centered around Max. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Ferrari made their absolute legacy off of making everything centered around Michael Schumacher, and it worked out really well for them. It hasn't in the past few years because Ferrari has no idea what they're doing these days. But for Red Bull, it makes all the sense in the world, and if that formula keeps working, keep having it go. What Red Bull's really concerned about, and the only reason they would even consider buying out Lando Norris's contract, other than F1 being like, hey, can you guys maybe like get a more competitive driver in here? Because nobody can compete with your car. But having two competitive people, uh, you know, might actually make the races a little bit more exciting. Uh, outside of that reason, they need somebody in there because on the off chance that McLaren, Mercedes, or Ferrari, I'll throw them in there even though I don't think any of us have any faith in that ever happening, are actually able to contend with them in 2024 or 2025, they need to have a competent second driver. And right now, Sergio Perez, is he could lose second place in the championship. It was absolutely uh, preposterous to even think about that Lewis Hamilton can finish second in the championship because Sergio in that car, that car alone should be able to easily finish second. And he's massively underperforming. He's become a huge liability this season. We've seen that he's completely mentally broken. He has no faith in the team. The team doesn't really seem to have faith in him. And Max is just absolutely walking all over him. The team can't have that, especially if McLaren with Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris come on to form early in the season next year, much earlier than they did this year. If they come out of the gate next year, this quick, where Lando's knocking off second place finishes every week at this point, that's really bad for them because they need a competent second driver. If not, then you have McLaren that's going to be able to compete with them in the Constructors' Championship. Beat them? Probably not. But keep them honest? More than likely. Same thing with, with Mercedes. If Mercedes comes out of the gate with a fast car next year and is able to continue to develop that car throughout the year, same with McLaren and you can keep on the heels of Red Bull, they can't afford to have one of their drivers scoring all the points and another one of their drivers sitting in the sand trap or the barriers or complaining or just not even being on pace as his teammate. That's why I say that he's become a massive liability and that's why Red Bull has looked at buying Lando Norris out of his contract. For Lando, it makes total sense to not make that move and it makes total sense to stay with McLaren. Honestly, there's been times, especially even early this year, and after the Bahrain preseason test, after the Bahrain Grand Prix, where Lando Norris looked absolutely miserable. It looked like he wishes that he could get out of that McLaren contract as soon as possible. And then McLaren had this massive turnaround mid-season where he's now finishing on the podium. He's not necessarily continuing for wins because they don't have that speed, but he has the pace to easily capture second place in most races. It's a Ferrari 2019 turnaround, just doesn't appear to be illegal. At the same time, though, he knows that he can't go to Red Bull, right? He, he won races over there. Winning races is great. He hasn't done it yet. He's now got 100 Grand Prix under his belt, 12 podiums, no wins yet. He threw away that win in Sochi a few years ago because he didn't know when to pit for tires. And then since then, he has to, he's had to watch Daniel Ricciardo win a race. He's had to watch Oscar Piastri win a sprint race. And the whole time, he's just over here like, I'll finish second again for the fifth time this season. But eventually know he wants to win. And he could do that at Red Bull, but he's not going to win a championship. Staying at McLaren, though, can allow him to potentially contend for that title. 
Obviously, he's the number one driver in that team at the moment. We'll see how Oscar's form continues to develop over the course of the rest of this season and next season. But for now, Lando's the number one driver in that team. The amount of development that they've done to that car this year and taking it from being an absolute turd to being a car that could almost win races at points is absolutely remarkable. And the path that Zach Brown has put them on has actually worked. And I think there are a lot of people that wanted Zach Brown out, and now they are like, well, you know, some of these decisions are actually working. The amount of talent that they're bringing in with some key partners coming in as well, it makes a lot of sense for Orlando to stay because if they can come out of the gate at the beginning of the season next year, as good as they're running right now and as competitive as they are with Red Bull, that does help them out because developing from the point where they developed at, at Bahrain to get to where they are now, when I say monumental, I, I think that is an understatement. If they can start out how they are right now next year, only a little bit behind Red Bull, and then develop and try to take that big next step and get up there with Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez, that's where Lando, that's why Lando wants to stay because he knows that this team gives him the best shot at winning a championship, or at least contending at the very least. And then who knows? His contract runs until the end of 2025. Will he re-up with McLaren? It all depends on what their form is at the end of that and what seats are open. If there's a Mercedes seat open, a Ferrari seat open, you might have to take a look at one of those because if McLaren doesn't have a manufacturer aligned with them, Obviously, there's some talk about them trying to get involved with a few other people or trying to bring some people into the sport. You might have to look at going to a factory outfit. Of course, with Red Bull getting Red Bull powertrains and slapping Ford branding on it, you have that. Ferrari, of course, Mercedes has theirs. Aston Martin is going to have the backing of Honda, which is you know, fantastic. Sauber might have Audi, might have Porsche, or just could just be Sauber once again, probably running Ferrari engines, but maybe you even look over there. For the most part, though, Lando has to make the decision that's best for him. And being the number two driver at Red Bull is just not the best decision for anybody. And I think Max Verstappen has absolutely proven that as he's continued to eviscerate anybody that's got into that second car. So for Lando, makes a lot of sense to stay at McLaren. And honestly, I don't know if Zach Brown wants to have another contract issue on his hands because that poor guy just has seemingly gotten himself into so many different contract issues over the last two years on both sides of the pond in IndyCar and in Formula One that maybe just having one year go by where he doesn't have to deal with the contract issue would be good for him. Of course, it won't be this year, but having your star F1 driver one out of his contract and a buyout by the biggest team in the sport right now doesn't look good for your shareholders. So, so let me know in the comments, do you think Lando should have left for Red Bull or do you think staying at McLaren's the right decision? Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.